Mr. Beast was asked, what's the difference between a 1 million view video and a 30 million view video? It wasn't 30% more work or 30 times more work. In fact, it was just a better idea. And finding a good idea is sometimes difficult. I'm assuming that you already know what niche you're in, but sometimes we run into creative ruts. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to get out of those ruts with seven of the best ways to come up with your next YouTube video idea. Let's get into it. Now the first place we wanna to go to find ideas is TubeBuddy. And if you've watched any kind of YouTube growth strategy videos, you've probably heard of TubeBuddy. But TubeBuddy is a YouTube extension plugin, uh, Chrome extension plugin, sorry. Uh, it's for keywords exploring, uh, thumbnail generators, A-B testing. You can see what's growing and what's working in your niche. Uh, but the great thing about TubeBuddy, let me show you, so is the Keyword Explorer. And I think this thing is absolutely great. So uh, once the plugin's here, and I'll show you what you, it looks like on the search, but uh, type in a keyword. For here, we're going to be uh, video ideas, because that's what this video is about, right? And you hit Explore. And TubeBuddy will populate this little window right here. First things first, the overall score. It's weighted. It's poor. Why is it poor? Because the search volume is very high, which is really good, right? We want this in a green, but the competition is in the red, the very, very lowest part of the red. And if we hover over here, it says, how good is this keyword to target for your specific channel based on search volume, competition, relevancy, and that kind of stuff. It's bad because there's a lot of videos out there that I'm competing against. That means it's very bad. So the optimization strength uh, it's good, which means there's not a whole lot of optimizing from the SEO standpoint. Um, but as you can see, you versus top ranked videos, not a whole lot. But the cool thing about TubeBuddy is there's related searches over here. So maybe video ideas for YouTube. Let's explore that a little bit further. As we can see, we're getting a little bit better, <laughs> a little less competition here. So let's keep on going. Video ideas for YouTube beginners in 2022. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We still have some good search volume. It's in the yellow now. And the competition, it's in the yellow, which means it's fairly decent. Uh, optimizing strength, not a whole lot of people are optimizing it properly. So we're getting a lot better here. So now that we have some a decent strength here, uh, I, you want this in the green as much as possible. So let's save this for later. Maybe hit add to topic planner. You get this nice little thing. And the topic planner is essentially topic ideas that you come across that maybe you want to look for later. So let's go back to video ideas for YouTube. Or here's an idea. Since you start typing out video ideas, you have little options right here. Suggestions. Let's try uh, new YouTubers. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, poor again. Video ideas for new Roblox YouTubers. Oh, jackpot. Now, if I was a gaming channel and I did Roblox, this would be a perfect video to target because the search volume is fairly high. It's in the yellow. I'd like to see that a little bit higher, but the competition and the strength for optimization is in the green, which means nobody's making this content. There's enough volume to make it justifiable. So... Let's do something else that's not gaming. How about um, how to improve your audio in your YouTube videos? Pretty good. Search very high. Competition. It's quite a bit of competition. So uh, as you can see, this TubeBuddy tool is pretty spectacular here. You can see results. How to get better audio in your YouTube videos. Five budget audio tips. Really cool tool. Um, and what's even cooler, you don't even need to have it open. Uh, if you have the extension plugged in uh, and installed on your Chrome, you just type in best YouTube ideas for 2022. And you have your little panel over here. See, look, this is excellent. Uh, and you can see your competition. See, you can see Nate here from Channel Makers uh, pops up. You can see what other videos are popping up, you know, like a normal search, but you can also see it over here. And you can see related search results and the common video tags that people use to tag in each video. So TubeBuddy is a great tool to find your YouTube videos, especially for your next YouTube video. So if you want to get started with TubeBuddy, there is a free affiliate trial link in the description box below.
My next favorite place to find video ideas is vidIQ. And vidIQ is essentially two buddies. It's competition. It does very similar things. They do different things, and I'll show you that in a second. So I actually use both. Uh, but the thing that I really love about vidIQ, actually two things that I really love about vidIQ is one, daily ideas. Daily ideas, depending on what level of vidIQ you have, will give you a certain amount of ideas that they think in the algorithm is going to give you a lot of traffic. So here are mine. I get 10 a day uh, because of the plan I'm on. So YouTube content planning, how I use keywords every day and use TubeBuddy Pro, or keywords everywhere and use TubeBuddy Pro. View prediction, very high. I'm going to save that. 25 strategies to reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Very high. I'm going to save that one too. How to optimize a YouTube video for beginners in 15 minutes. Now, view prediction is very high, but I already made that video, so I'm going to say no. And as you can tell, there's more you can go. Saved ideas. This is where all of your ideas that you saved live. So if you ever want to come back, you can't make 10 videos a day. If you can, hats off to you. I'd like to meet you. Uh, but you can save ideas to make in the future. If you're struggling of what I should make next, Look at all these very high view prediction ideas, a whole page worth. I can grab something here and create a video and get out of my rut. Now, alternatively, if you want to restore and look at ideas that you might have dismissed and maybe you want to look at later, you can do that as well. So daily ideas is super great tool from vidIQ. Uh, the next one is competitors. You can see your competitors. You can see who you know, what they're doing on a daily basis, how many views they're getting on a monthly basis. This is great. Um, the next great thing I like about vidIQ is on YouTube page, go back to YouTube. So let's go back to best YouTube ideas for 2022. Uh, going back to channel makers. And what vidIQ will do, if you haven't subscribed, um, where'd it go? There it is. I had to wait for a second. Is this right here? VPH or views per hour. The higher that number is, the better that video is going right now. And that means there's a lot of interest in that video right now. So maybe you should make something that's happening along those lines because there's clearly there's clearly a need for that video. So you can tell this video right here from Nate that was published seven months ago are getting 15 views per hour. That's great. That's great. Let's see if we can find anything higher. 10 views per hour. 43 views per hour from Nolan over at Think Media. So if you install vidIQ, uh, there are free versions, I believe, but free trial in the description box below. Like I mentioned, I do both TubeBuddy and vidIQ. This vidIQ, obviously, for this VPH and the daily ideas. So uh, 60 views per hour, 90 views per hour. So huge tool. You can definitely see what's trending in your niche. So vidIQ, Go download it. Go love it. Affiliate link in the description box below for your free trial. Now, the next video idea is going to be a little bit more thought-based. It's not a plugin. It's not a website. It's more along the lines of you and what you think should exist. And that's exactly it. What video in your niche should exist but doesn't exist? If you've stumbled upon or find yourself searching YouTube or Google and saying, what's the answer to this question? Or what's the best... you know things like that and that video doesn't exist and you're thinking it chances are there are other people out there thinking it too and that should be your next video idea is exploring that topic and maybe you don't know the answer maybe that's why you're looking for it in the first place but use this as an opportunity to one go do some research and find the answer to and then share your findings with the world the fourth great place to find youtube video ideas is in your own analytics now this won't necessarily work if you're just now starting off, but if you have a couple of videos, uh, you will have enough information to find out what you should do for your next video. Go over to your analytics and hit the audience button, which is right next to the, the research tool, which you can use as well. I've already made a video on that, but uh, a little bit different here. We're going to do audience. And as you can tell, now that you have some traffic here, you can see other channels, your audience watches, obviously vidIQ, channel makers, think media other videos your audience watched. Currently, in the last seven days, there's not enough audience data to show this, but if you have enough views, that might be available to you. That's going to be huge. If you have other videos your audience are watching from other creators, make those videos. Make your own versions of those videos. Don't 
rip them off completely, but make your versions to enhance those videos. Great place to find new video ideas. Alternatively, go to content, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see how viewers found your videos. So if you have videos already up, you're gonna have this, how videos, how viewers found your videos. If you do external, you can see they came from 73% of mine came from search, Bing, Facebook, TubeBuddy. Uh, but here's an interesting one, YouTube search. These right here, and you can expand it a little bit more. These topics right here are what is being searched on YouTube that's leading to your videos. So how to change your profile picture, creative cloud, how to change your banner. These are great things to be watching. If you've made similar videos, but never something specifically, can't think of anything on this right now because I don't get a whole lot of views from search. But if something popped up that you're like, hey, like I have a similar video, but it's not exactly that, maybe consider making that exact video topic. Um, like maybe the Rode Video Micro. I made a video comparing the two, but maybe I should do that again, make another video. Uh, alternatively, you can look at your suggested videos. Things that every small YouTuber does, change a picture on Android, how to download a YouTube video for free. I never made a video on that. Maybe that's worthwhile since somebody's video on that is suggesting the viewer to me. Big mistakes small YouTubers still make. Um, let's see what else. How to create a killer YouTube video. Great idea. How to change your YouTube background to black. If I starting YouTubers, getting monetized quickly, upload a profile picture, should you show your face? Is this big YouTube update, small or big? You get the idea, great ideas. These videos are already sending people to your channel. Maybe consider making one of those videos as well. The next great place is called Google Trends. And all you have to do is trends.google.com or Google like I did, Google Trends. And once you get to Google Trends, this is what you're gonna look at. Uh, clearly you can see, you can search the world, you know, your country, I think. If I'm in the UK, I think UK would pop up, but I'm in the United States, so here's the United States. So let's take an example from my country music channel. Let's type in Brad Paisley. As you can see, Brad Paisley is kind of slowly starting to lose some interest over time. Uh, you can see where <laughs> there are most searched uh, West Virginia is the most searched for Brad Paisley. So here you go. Uh, related queries, 2003 Brad Paisley song. As you can see, that's a breakout, which means there's a lot more interest in it lately than it has been in the past. Uh, Whiskey Lullaby with Fan, uh, Greenlee Stampede, Albuquerque. Uh, I guess that's his tour. Uh, but what's really cool, uh, because I do country music, I can type in another country music music artist, let's say uh, Keith Urban. And look at that. You can see Keith Urban has a lot more search interest amongst Google the past year. So if we're gonna make a video on a country music artist, maybe consider doing Keith Urban over Brad Paisley because there's more interest in Keith Urban than Brad Paisley. Now, this is web search. And you can go down to YouTube search. That's still the same, but it's a little uh, look at that. Interesting, right? So you can see some breakout sessions now here for Keith Urban, Wild Hearts. Maybe a Wild Hearts Keith Urban guitar cover would be good, or Wild Hearts guitar lesson would be good. Um, and you can keep on going, like Luke Combs. Now, <laughs> see, you keep on putting more stuff on, and you're like, wow, forget about Keith Urban and Brad Paisley. I got to go do Luke Combs. So, Google Trends is a really cool way to see if you're debating on two different topics, what maybe you should make uh, a video on next. And if you are you have the idea down and you're looking for some things that people are searching around that idea, Luke Combs doing this. Kind of love we make Luke Combs. This kind of love we make Luke Combs. Luke Combs doing this. You get the idea. Here's some good ideas to make your next video on. The next great place to find YouTube video ideas is to look at what's popular amongst your competition. So there are undoubtedly large creators in your niche and a great place to find ideas is to see what's working for them. So if I went to Think Media, Think Media is probably the biggest player in this niche and see what's working for them using our vidIQ tool or even just looking at the views over the past year, maybe even past six months, we can see what's working. And I try to avoid shorts here, but uh, video mic go, one day, 11 views, 17, 
8, 15, 10. 19. All right. That's a little bit of more standout. Um, 22. Wait and find something really big. Here you go. 44. 12 home office desk accessories worth buying. <laughs> Maybe you think media was the wrong one to go to because they put out so much content. Um, so instead of searching that way, especially with someone who does daily content, do most popular and see something that comes up nine months. I bought the cheapest camera on Amazon. That's a short, but maybe it's a good idea. Two, 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 two. We're looking for something in the past year. So less, 11 months and less because they're, that shows interest in the video. And like I said, Think Media might be a bad idea because they have so many great videos and published so often. Five months ago, popular meme sound effects for video editing. This came out five months ago and it's amongst their top video performer. Maybe that's an idea that I should make. Alternatively, you can do the same thing. So like, let's thank Roberto Blake. Um, clearly, 17 came out a little bit more. 101K views. How to start a successful YouTube channel in 2022. There's a good idea. Clearly, a lot more views than anything else around that time from his channel. So that would be a good idea. So looking at your competitors is a great way to find inspiration. Don't want to copy your video verbatim. I already made a video on that. Um, but good idea to pivot and create a new video off of something that someone else in your niche already made that's proven to be successful. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just make it better. And the last great place to find video ideas is called Answer the Public. It's a fantastic website, answerthepublic.com. Essentially, you're going to find out what people are asking about. So let's type in YouTube. All right, so YouTube, 80 YouTube questions. Are YouTube shorts monetized? Are YouTube servers down? Are YouTube videos copyrighted? Are YouTube shorts worth it? Great ideas to make YouTube videos around, right? Something like me, right? Here are 80 ideas. Will YouTube ever shut down? Will YouTube bring back dislikes? Why YouTube is not working? Why YouTube is not working today? When YouTube channel monetized, you know how people Google stuff. So great ideas here. Here are 80 ideas. There might be some duplicates, but here are 80 video ideas surrounding YouTube that I should probably make. Uh, let's see, uh, Beth. Or, oh, you have to go backwards. All right, so um, video camera. If I wanted to do something on video cameras, here are waiting. And we're waiting. 388 results for video cameras and 76 questions. When video camera invented, when video camera came to India, what video camera, what video camera is best for YouTube. So you can see where this goes. This is probably my favorite place to find YouTube video ideas is enter the public, type in your niche, find the questions that people are asking for. Here are all the video ideas for you. Now having a great idea for your YouTube video is very important, but no matter how great that idea is, it won't mean anything if you can't hold your audience attention. And to learn how to hold your audience's attention, you're going to want to watch this video here, and I'll see you over there.